getting with the 401 helicopters. I have another helicopter training tip that I think is absolutely crucial. No matter what you're flying, wherever in the world, hover pre-takeoff checks. There's a lot of guys out there and a lot of schools teaching hover pre-takeoff checks before every takeoff, and that's a great thing. There are some guys that are teaching that, and that's not necessarily the best option for your helicopter training. You want to do the hover pre-takeoff checks because you're giving that engine a chance to spit, sputter, miss, quit running, start acting up. You're giving a chance for temperatures and pressures to maybe go out of the limitation. You're checking to see how much power you're using for the day so that you know how much available power you have, what you're pulling in a hover. There's a lot of reasons to be doing a hover pre-takeoff check. It's keeping you safe. It's making sure you've got everything set where you should and making sure that the aircraft's ready to go. One little thing that you miss could be total disaster by not doing a hover pre-takeoff check. So, hover pre-takeoff checks. If you're not doing them, start doing them. You need to do them every single time prior to takeoff. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.